Hi guys, welcome back to Empowering. I'm Caroline Porter Thomas, and today I have a video request from Hannah Morin, who asks, "How do you detach from work, separating work life from personal life?" And I personally think this is a fabulous video request because if you start out from day one making the decision to leave work at work and to be present wherever you are, you will be much happier as a nurse and basically in life in general. So I have five specific tips that I'm going to give you in this video on how I completely detach work life from my personal life and let's get started. Tip number one, decide from day one that you will not talk about anything bad that goes on at work at your home. If you talk about bad things at work from, you know, to your spouse or to your kids or to people that aren't related to your job, they won't really understand what you're talking about anyways. It doesn't do anything except bring you down and bring the people around you down as well. Just make that decision from day one that your house will be a sanctuary. Once you walk into the house, it's all about the other people. Which leads me to tip number two. When you walk through the house, make sure that you put time, energy, and love into the people that you care about. Ask yourself this question. What can I do to make my loved ones feel like I'm really present and really there and that I really care? It's basically a way of, to serving others that you love. And believe me, you won't need to talk about your bad day at work when you're full, full of joy giving you know the attention to your kids and your husband that they need. Tip number three, stay away from the gossip at work. There are tons of people who spend a lot of time griping and complaining about the things that should be or the way things should be or how things are bad and how things are getting worse. It's not going to do anything, especially this meaningless complaining. So what I usually do is I try to spend as much time as possible in my patient's rooms or in my patient's charts. That way I can make sure that I'm giving the best care possible. What I've also learned too is that the people that gripe and complain, they don't just leave it at work. Once you're in that gripe and complain mode, it's much easier to go home and gripe and complain. And it's harder to not share this with everybody else. So just get in the habit of not joining the group. Tip number four. Have a feeling good ritual before you leave. What is a feeling good ritual? Before you leave, all you have to do is ask yourself this question. What can I do before I leave that'll make me feel good? Your feeling good is so important because if you feel good, you will do good and you will be more inclined to think good thoughts. One of my major feeling good rituals is to brush my teeth before I leave work. I don't know why, but for some reason, just going in and just cleaning my teeth and making it easier to smile just makes me feel good. And so what I do is I symbolically am kind of thinking the thoughts of learning the lessons from the day, um, cleaning out anything that I need to do emotionally or physically or, you know, to be a better nurse. And then, you know, I'm also making it easier to smile because it's always easier to smile when your teeth are clean. So even if you don't have this as your feeling good ritual, what else can you do? Guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know which video you want to see next. Just post a comment and let me know. All right. Love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.